Good morning and welcome back to the Livingston Parish News Morning Show. My name is McHugh David, publisher and editor of the news. Appreciate you joining us this morning. If you're watching this live, thank you for that. If you're listening to us later in the day, uh, either via audio, which is great, or via uh, YouTube, we appreciate that as well. Uh, thanks for all of you for joining us here. Uh, it is Monday, nasty Monday. We'll be talking about that in just a second. But please remember that we're on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and YouTube. We're also online, www.livingstonparishnews.com. We also post these shows online. Uh, as mentioned, we put them on YouTube and our website. We also put the audio versions on our website. So if you ever miss one, you can always catch up later in the day. That's at www.livingstonparishnews.com backslash podcast. Those are free. So you can go check those out at your leisure. We are also once a week in print on Thursdays. That's $7 a month. $56 a year for that. Traffic this morning, right before we get into the weather. Uh, heavy delays just about everywhere, of course, probably because of the bad weather. Heavy delays on Burgess and 190 at Walker, where they intersect with 447. Heavy delays at 447 and 1025. Heavy delays in Watson, uh, north, north uh, <clears throat> Watson near the high school, as those folks are trying to funnel out of there. Heavy delays at 64 and 1026, uh, which would be Lockhart and 16. And minor delays, it's not too bad if you're heading into Central this morning on Highway 64. Heavy delays on Hatchell and on 16 and Denham Springs. Uh, heavy delays at Jubin Road and 190. And I-12 westbound is backed up past Jubin Road, and those delays will last until Sherwood Forest. There are no delays after the 10-12 split at this time. So if you made it past there, you are in luck. It's currently 75 degrees. It is nasty outside, as mentioned. It's raining. Uh, the temperature is actually expected to drop during the day as this cold front rolls through and drops a lot of rain in the area, mostly bringing cold weather. Big chance for high winds and tornadoes in the area. So please be careful if you are out and about today. And in the evening, just try to get home as quickly as possible. As mentioned, this is going to drop the temperature. We're going to be looking at uh, mid-70s and 50s uh, as your highs and lows going forward through the week with some more rain coming on Friday. So let's talk about, uh, we talked about that severe weather. Let's talk about Baton Rouge traffic. There was a study released last Thursday evening that we ran on Friday uh, from Texas A&M that lists Baton Rouge as the third worst mid-sized city for traffic. It says that uh, Baton Rouge residents and those in the surrounding areas spend about 55 extra hours in traffic than they should uh, per year. That's up from 47 just last year. So as we know, they're trying to do some things inside Baton Rouge to help that out. As we also know through this last uh, political session, a lot of folks mentioning that there needs to be another crossing from Livingston Parish into Baton Rouge among other things. So please uh, keep your eye on that. But there is a, a yet another report on Baton Rouge traffic that says, hey, it's pretty bad. Uh, talking about traffic and maybe ways to avoid it, there was a bike ped meeting uh, last week for Denham. We're just reminding you of this. It will be the feature for this Thursday's paper, talking about that process, what they're hoping to accomplish with that project and that sort of thing, and they being Denham Springs, uh, specifically Denham Strong. So please be on the lookout for that. Urban Air Adventure Park opened uh, Friday. Uh, technically, it opened Saturday. There was a soft opening Friday just to kind of give a little test run. It is in the Bass Pro Development in Denham Springs. It is not your normal trampoline park. There's a lot going on in there. There's a zip line that covers about half the building, uh, 360 bumper cars. There's just, there's a lot. There's a lot, there, a lot of colors, a lot of flashing lights, but it is a ton of fun. Uh, we were able to go with the Livingston Parish Chamber of Commerce for the walkthrough on Friday. Got some pictures, got a feel for the place. It was packed on Saturday most of the day. They do have rather protracted hours, but that's mostly because about everything in there requires a whole lot of, uh, I don't want to say security, just a whole lot of help and a lot of people on hand to make sure that everything runs correctly. So try to get in. It's a lot of fun. They do have, um, they do have, adult parties, uh, which is, you know, worth the checkout. Uh, they have bays of party rooms, a uh, lot of fun, just, just a very interesting place. Uh, again, that is south on the south side of the Bass Pro Development uh, in Denham Springs. Please give that a, a check. 
If you'll remember, last week we talked about the Steam Bus. We went into some detail over the weekend on that. You can check that story out, www.lumisonparishnews.com uh, backslash news. Uh, they are getting state, national, and international attention uh, for uh, what's going on with that project. So congratulations to them. They're hoping to continue moving forward, continuing uh, gaining momentum. I almost used Steam, but I didn't want to drop you all with a pun on a Monday morning. Also, a reminder from that school board meeting, Cameron Jordan, who is a defensive end uh, for the New Orleans Saints, who went up and beat the Bears, continue to win even without Drew Brees, and that time without Alvin Kamara. Uh, he will be at Albany Schools October 29th, and this is part of the NFL Play 60 program. Uh, they're trying to help out with food services, that sort of thing. There'll be a special pep rally, and then a special number of students will be able to uh, do some NFL drills with him. That should be interesting to watch. So we'll be on the lookout for that. Myself and Mr. David Gray will be at that event come October 29th. Talking about football players, there is a feature online right now at www.livingstonparishnews.com backslash sports, which is discussing Mr. Roger Brooks, who plays for Walker. He has type 1 diabetes, fought through that, and has been a big member of that Walker defense. Again, you can check that story out online. And, and you know, that leads into big showdown in Watson Friday. Walker comes out on top. Uh, very interesting game. Live Oak makes it close in the end, kicks an onside kick, and Brian Thomas, much like one of the Bills players on Sunday takes the onside kick back to the house to keep it just too much for Live Oak to overcome. Uh, so right now, uh, Walker sitting on top inside inside the parish. Uh, they will be the next to take on Zachary. They'll, uh, so we'll see how they do. Unfortunately, uh, moving into that Zachary realm, Denim faced Zachary on Friday as well. Had a good first half, really, really had a... Had him on the ropes, had a chance to tie it up, too. Uh, penalty ruined that. Uh, but but really a good first half. But in the second half, Walker, I mean, Zachary just pulled away. Uh, tough game for them. Uh, Springfield played on Thursday. They had uh, Thomas Jefferson, and they, they took care of business there. Albany also, now this one was just rough. Uh, it, there's a video online. Uh, I, I do believe that some of the folks in the Albany area have shared it. Uh, someone was in the back of the end zone uh, taking film on their phone, and uh, an Albany player caught the football, but the ref said that he was out. It's hard to see exactly if one of his feet hits the end zone before he goes out of bounds. It really looks like his foot was in bounds, which, of course, would have at least tied it up, and if Albany could have gotten the extra point, would have won. Uh, so tough game for Albany on the road. We'll be interested to see what Mr. Mike Janice or Coach Mike Janice has to say about that and how they're going to try to bounce back from that that loss. We will be discussing all that. As, as uh, I hope you remember, we have a football show every Wednesday. Uh, we record it, release it on Thursday. So we'll tell you all about how these teams are trying to bounce back from either these losses or trying to learn from them and move forward. Uh, also, kind of still staying in the football realm, if you might remember, there was a standout athlete uh, from Springfield, called, his name was Keenan Austin, and he went to Southeastern. He graduated in May of 2016, and he uh, was Southeastern's homecoming king. Uh, pretty fascinating story. Uh, you can find it online. It's our lifestyle story, www.livingstonparishnews.com backslash living. Uh, so congratulations to Mr. Austin on being named homecoming queen over there at the Strawberry Court. And uh, you can read about him and what he did here. That was a story by Mr. David Gray. One more time, let's take a look at your traffic. Uh, your weather is, of course, known. It's bad. Traffic is starting to clear out of Watson, Walker, and Denham Springs. Folks are getting on the interstate. Delays are now past Jubin Road if you're heading on I-12 westbound. Heavy delays at uh, 190 4-H Club Road and River Road. And some minor delays now starting to form after the 10-12 split. Still relatively clear on 64 if you're heading into Central. Minor delays on Hatchell Lane also for a small update there as folks drop their kids off at Denham Springs Elementary and Junior High. Currently 75 degrees. We are expecting thunderstorms today as this cold front that battered North Louisiana and East Texas over the night, over, over the evening.
now moving into the area, bringing heavy winds later on in the day, expecting worse weather this afternoon. Uh, please be careful on your way home from work. Uh, they are saying that there's the potential for some tornadoes, so please be careful today. Uh, keep an eye on that radar uh, as this cold weather as well as rain moves into the area. One last time, my name is McHugh David, publisher and editor of the news. Appreciate you joining us today on the Livingston Parish News Morning Show. Please remember that we have canceled the afternoon show. Just really wasn't getting the traction that we were after. Uh, if you would like for us to post the morning show in the afternoon, we can. Uh, or if you're looking for a traffic update, if you're looking for something for the afternoon from the afternoon show that you're not getting, please leave us a, a, a comment. And we'll see what we can do in the afternoon to, to better serve you. But we are no longer doing the afternoon show at 4.30 p.m. Please remember, you can find these shows later on. Uh, we post them as soon as possible, the audio and video versions, to www.livingstonparishnews.com backslash podcast. They are free there. We're also on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. You can check us out there. We're also online. I've mentioned that URL several times. We are once a week in print on Thursdays. Hope you have a great Monday. Uh, try to make it a great Monday. I know with the weather, it's kind of crazy, but bringing in some cooler temperatures, but it is going to be nasty today. So try to stay dry and later on in the day, try to stay warm. Have a great Monday.